And a big part of hang glider design isn't just the, the mechanics and the engineering of the design, but um, trying to make something that's suitable for the market. I mean, it, it's not just, it's never about designing what I want. It's designing about, it's about designing a product that will be successful in the marketplace. I mean, that's what it's all about, fundamentally. You know, people, you know, often ask questions about why don't you design this or that. I mean, the number one business that I have to do is sustain, or the number one, the goal of any product design is to have a successful, you know, product that I can afford to manufacture to sustain the business. Um, and that's the challenge, because if I can't, if I can't sell these gliders, if I can't produce it, um, you know, with the budget I have, um, then I can't sustain the business and then I can't develop new gliders. So those are the constraints. It's really the business constraints more than anything. Um, and that was, as I started saying about the 136, that was one of the big questions and one of the reasons why Mike um, on his own certainly would never have, you know, um, um, developed a, a small T2 because it seemed like the market for that glider was not enough to sustain the development and the production of, of the glider.